What's up guys and gals, it's the Ty right here and welcome back to my weekly Q&A session where you guys ask the questions and I give you the answers. If you would like to submit a question to the Q&A, please feel free to ask your question in the comment section below or feel free to hit me up on Twitter or if you're a patron donor, you can feel free to ask it in the Discord. We saw a lot of new faces ask questions this week so I'm really looking forward to answering them so let's go ahead and jump right in. Our first question of the week comes from Packhunter117. Love the name, my friend. And Packhunter asks, Q&A, could you do a walkthrough for Awakening the Nightmare, please? Well, uh, I do have one of the works. I don't know when I'm going to release it yet because I do have other priority projects that are, are I have planned coming before that. And to be honest with you, my Halo Wars 2 Legendary walkthrough didn't get that many views compared to other walkthroughs I've done in the past. Does that mean I'm not planning on doing one for Awakening Nightmare? Absolutely not. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is... Uh, focus on some other projects first, and then hopefully I'll release legendary walkthroughs for both Awakening of the Nightmare as well as Operation Spearbreaker later this year. So I hope you'll check it out, and I hope you enjoy it, my friend. Our next question comes from Probably Cram, and Probably Cram asks, Q&A, do you think it would be a good idea for the 20th anniversary of, of Combat Evolved they could work to bring SPV3 to the MCC? Do I think it'd be a great, good idea? Absolutely. I'd love to see that. Do I think they're going to do it? No. Uh, so SPV3 is not an official title, of course, and I, I think I would need Masters, the lead designer behind uh, SPV3, to tell me this for sure, but I think 343 sort of looks at SPV3 as a rival because it's a game that was technically built off of Halo but it's meant to sort of be better than the original Halo or deliver a new experience and, and so I'm not really sure how that would work I don't think I don't even think they could do it if they wanted to just because of course you'd have to work on you know possibly paying uh, the folks who designed SPV3, which, I, again, how would you do that? Because technically, even though they built a lot of those assets themselves, it's still based off of stuff from Combat Evolve. So would I love to see it? Absolutely. But I don't think it would ever happen. But you never know. Maybe they could bring uh, the good folks at SPV3 on, on board to create games in the future. That would be really cool. So great question. Our next question comes from Maverick Pampin, and Maverick asks, Q&A, should Halo 6 have a Battle Royale mode like Fortnite or PUBG? I think this would be great and could quote-unquote replace Warzone. Well, that's a possibility. For Halo 6, I'm not sure what they're planning, but in terms of future Halo games in general, we already see Call of Duty sort of jumping on the uh, Battle Royale bandwagon. So could Halo do that in the future? I could easily see it. Uh, but I, let me ask you guys this. Would you like to see a Halo-style uh, Battle Royale mode? And if so, what would you like to see in it? You know, Warzone Firefight, in my opinion, is is a great addition. Warzone in general, I love in Halo. I know a lot of people don't, just because of the whole rec system. But I really love Warzone and Warzone Firefight, personally. If they wanted to expand that to a Battle Royale mode game type, I would be down for that. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below of what you think a Halo Battle Royale 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 mode would look like and what you would want featured in it. Our next question comes from Unsung Hero 3630. <laughs> I was going to say 360. And Unsung Hero asks Q and A: How do you think Halo can change to make it as good as Halo 1, 2, or 3, or has Halo gone past its golden years? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask, because I still enjoy Halo. You know, I'm, obviously I'm playing Halo 5 right now, uh, but I think one way to sort of return to the past is exactly what we saw recently and see some sort of Halo Online type game released. Obviously, we can't. Uh, Really, we're not supposed to be playing Halo Online, or at least not downloading it anymore. But uh, if it's something that Microsoft takes into their own hands and creates their own version of, then I can see that being made available to the public and made uh, to appease legacy Halo players such as myself and, and, and many other people out there. So I think that would be the best way to do that. But remember, we have a, Halo has a lot more competition than it did during the first trilogy. So I think no matter what, there's always going to be alternatives out there. But in terms of returning the classic gameplay, I would say that would be the best bet for now. Our next question comes from Dr. Dark Nerd. That's a cool name. And Dr. Dark Nerd asks, Q&A, question, do you think that the Halo franchise is dying beyond repair? No, I don't. I think that it's going through a rough period right now because it's been so long since we've seen any information about a new Halo title. We just had the incident with Halo Online. So, you know, it, I think they're struggling a little bit. What I think would really... What they need to focus on more is, isn't just the games, it's the interaction with the community. That's something that Bungie did really well, and something that 343 did really well when they first started out. I'm not really sure what happened there. I know that they're trying harder, and, and so I will commend them for that, but 
you know, right now it seems like they're focused so much on uh, esports type gaming that they've l they've sort of left the community behind. And I think that it's not just about how they design the next major Halo title or when they design it, but it's how they interact with the community as well. And if they can improve their interaction with the community, I think it would not just help the franchise as a whole, but the Halo brand as a whole. And so that's what I'm hoping to see down the road. But that's an excellent question, my friend. Thank you. Our next question comes from my buddy Alejandro Sosa. And Alejandro asks, do you think Halo should try out another genre for a future game, considering that Halo Wars has done good enough so far? Well, you know, Halo Wars has done fine, but it still hasn't sold as well as some of the first-person shooter titles out there for Halo. If you look at the uh, sales, it's it's usually not that good, but it's, it's fine for all intents and purposes. Obviously, the original Halo Wars did well enough for them to do Halo Wars 2. And Halo Wars 2 received mostly positive reviews. So, uh, in terms of another genre, there's not a lot else I can think of unless they want to do like Halo Kart or something like that, or maybe a third person over the shoulder type shooter. But uh, I think for now, they really need to go back to the roots and focus on the FPS genre. If, if down the road after the Reclaimer Saga, they want to do some experimenting with different types, maybe do a Halo Wars 3, that's certainly a possibility. But uh, for now, I just want them to focus on, on what we know they do best. So, great question, my friend. Our next question comes from Gaming Brosif, and Gaming Brosif asks Q and A. This might seem like a very dumb question, but I would like to ask if Bungie would have would have stayed with Microsoft until now, would they have let Halo Online be playable for the Halo community? Well, first of all. No, no dumb questions, my friend. That's a very good question, and, and always feel free to ask me. And uh, and to answer your question, uh, it, it, this is a two-part answer here. So first of all, I think that if if the well, first of all, 343 didn't order Halo Online to be taken down. It was Microsoft, and back in the Bungie days, Microsoft was still Bungie's overhead. Now, if you're looking at the time period difference, I think that Microsoft was less conservative about things back then, and they probably they may have let it slide. I mean, obviously, Microsoft okayed. Uh, the creation of Halo Custom Edition, which ultimately led to creations like SPV3. And of course, Red vs. Blue became a thing as well. Uh, had Halo Online been released maybe in like 2000, well, you know, sometime in the late 2000s, maybe. Uh, but I think if Bungie had stayed with them, we've seen Microsoft's, apology, uh, uh, Microsoft's policies change and evolve over the years. Uh, for the better or not, uh, depends on your own personal opinion, but uh, we've seen them grow a lot more conservative over their franchise, a lot more protective over Halo. So I think even if Bungie were in control now, it wouldn't have made a difference. Halo Online still would have been shut down, but that's still an interesting take on it, and thank you for asking. Our next question comes from Mark Sicolella, and Mark Sicolella asks, would you like to try Mass Effect again? Well, you know, I'm already trying a few other different games this year. In terms of Mass Effect, I don't even think I own the original one anymore. I think I sold it back to GameStop many years ago. Is it a game that I would like? Well, I'm like I said, I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to be trying out a few different games this year outside of Halo. Now, if people on the site take to those and they want to watch those uh, videos and they want to follow me through those videos and support me when I do other games outside of the Halo genre, then I could get to a point eventually when I start doing, you know, polls where I ask people what game they want to see me play next. And if Mass Effect comes up, that's certainly an option. Uh, but that would involve me buying at least the original trilogy. And that's that's expensive. I mean, they're not $60 a piece anymore, obviously, but it's still an, it's still it would be an investment on my part. And I would have to know that my audience as a whole would want to see it. So uh, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying I don't have any plans for it right now. But thank you for bringing it up, my friend. And always good to see you here. Our next question comes from comes from Crazy Corn, and Crazy Corn asks Q and A question: What is the most repetitive mission in Halo, in your opinion? Hmm. Well, I, to be honest with you, I think Assault on the Control Room, as much as I love the mission, is a bit repetitive because you go through basically the same room like 12 times. Not as many times in Two Betrayals, but in Assault on the Control Room, you go through it quite a bit. But I think the library edges it out a little bit more because the entire mission is essentially you fighting the same enemies over and over again through either large corridors or smaller subterranean corridors and it does get pretty repetitive after a while so I would have to say that while Assault on the Control Room while great does have its repetitive moments I'd have to say the library is probably the most repetitive mission in all of Halo but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions everyone in the comments below what you think their most repetitive mission in any Halo game is. 
And our final question of the week, our star question comes from Tyg Z. If I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering that name. Uh, you can probably let me know in the comments below how you pronounce it, but it's a cool name, my friend. And Tyg Z asks, what do you think of the rumors of Halo 6 coming to PC? Hopefully it's fully optimized. He actually asked a really great question here because there have been rumors floating around that Halo 6 might be on PC and not just Halo 6, but all future Halo titles might be coming to PC. And this would be a really great move on Microsoft's part, simply because right now Halo is a, is a console exclusive. Now, while that does... Uh, uh, get people to buy more xboxes at the same time it cuts out a huge number of people who might potentially get involved with the franchise when halo combat of all first came out i had friends who wanted to play it but they didn't have an xbox when halo pc came out they immediately picked it up and got hooked on it now obviously if if they started releasing games for the pc it would cut down on their console sales but given the fact that they could sell it on the Windows Store and that Windows in and of itself is a Microsoft platform, if they expanded enough, I could see that the sales of the games in general would make up for the fact that they aren't selling as many consoles. On top of that, this may be an unpopular opinion, but the simple fact that Rec Packs, they already said are returning for the next major installment, since people are buying those after they buy the game itself, if people who buy it for PC are also buying those Rec Packs, I could easily see uh, uh, just the game sales in general, plus the rec packs that are being bought, easily overtaking any sales that they could have made from people buying new consoles. Now, uh, as you said, there have been rumors floating around, and we've already seen evidence of this in recent Halo titles. Halo 5 Forge Mode came to PC. Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2 are both on the PC. Both Halo Spartan Assault and Halo Spartan Strike are on the PC. And obviously, after they took Halo Online down, they, um, they released a statement on their site stating that they wanted to bring more Halo experiences to the PC in the future. It's really strange that we haven't seen a full of uh, uh, an official PC release for the Halo franchise, at least in terms of the main games, since Halo 2 Vista. And Halo 2 Vista was an interesting thing because Halo PC actually made a lot of sales. It did very well, even though it was just a port. Uh, Halo 2 Vista was in sort of a different area, and I'll tell you why. First of all, it was a Vista ex exclusive. Need I say more than that? Vista! Uh, of course, there was a patch that made it playable on Windows XP, but it was released for Vista. So that, that was an issue in of itself. Also, it only came out a few months before Halo 3 was released, so it was easily eclipsed by the next major Halo installment. So the timing of it and the system platform that it was on, I think, were major contributions to the title as a whole not doing very well. Now, if, if they release all future titles for Windows 10, which is pretty mainstream at this point, I can see that as being a very real possibility of having a, a marginal success rate, especially since PC gaming is still just really huge. You know, it's and the, the nice thing about a PC is you, it gives you options. If you want to play with an Xbox controller, you can play with an Xbox controller. If you want to use a mouse and keyboard because that's your bread and butter, you can use a mouse and a keyboard. There's just so many different things, not to mention the modding community. Obviously, they would have to take measures to make sure that didn't make it into like matchmaking or anything like that. But the modding community alone has just extended the life on Halo so much. Look at SPV3. That's been in the making for over a decade, and it just revitalized the Halo Combat Evolved experience. I can easily see if, if they release those kinds of tools for the next major Halo installment, and heck, if they do it for Master Chief Collection and all the Halo uh, titles on that, it would be an amazing experience. It could really revitalize Halo as a whole. I was asked earlier in this Q&A, do I think that it's dying beyond repair? No, but I think that if they really want to bring Halo back to the glory days, this would be a great way to do it. It, it seems like it's something that they're looking into just on the bits, little bits of information that I get. Nothing official has been announced. Heck, even Halo 6 hasn't officially been announced yet. But it seems like they are making a strong push in the PC direction. And I would be very surprised if at least at some point the next major Halo installment didn't make it to PC. It may not come out on PC the same day that it comes out for Xbox, but maybe a year after that. I mean, it, it seems like something that they're pushing for and I can easily see them doing that and i'm keeping my fingers crossed that that's what they're going to do but i want to hear what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section below do you want to see halo 6 on pc what would you prefer to play halo on xbox or pc i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below 
or please feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythicTower.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off. Thank you.